If you're wondering how this Flowmaster Super 44 muffler sound on the new 2019 Camaro SS, look no further. I got a bunch of sound clips coming up. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're a returning viewer, you know that this video has been in the works for a long time. And I'm going to try to show you various clips of the car to try to give you an accurate representation of what it sounds like with the Flowmaster Super 44 mufflers. But if you are stopping by for the first time, let me introduce myself. I am a wheelchair user, but I'm still a diehard car enthusiast. And here on this channel, I primarily feature my adventures with this 2019 Camaro SS and my old 1983 square body Chevy truck. So if you want to tag along, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Turn on bell notifications so you don't miss anything. So as you probably know, you know, uh, mufflers are only one part of the, of the equation when it comes to how the car is going to sound. So let me briefly go over the specs of these cars, in case you don't know. This is the SS model, so it has the naturally aspirated 6.2 liter V8. And these cars actually have pretty decent exhaust systems from the factory. They have true duals, and so the pipes run uh, from the headers back to a set of primary catalytic converters, and then some secondary catalytic converters, then to an X-pipe, and then to the mufflers. And yes, I said headers, and yes, I know the difference between headers and manifolds. So before you say, Oh, they're not headers, they're manifolds. Get it right. These cars actually essentially do have headers from the factory. They're shorting headers, but they're not normal exhaust manifolds. So that being said, all I've done is remove the stock uh, muffler. Uh, it's that huge suitcase size muffler and installed a couple of Flowmaster Super 44s. The system I have is the Axelback system from Flowmaster. It's the American Thunder Axelback system for the Camaros without the MPP exhaust feature. If you don't know what that means, it's the dual mode exhaust feature that you can get on these cars. You know, where you can, uh, they basically have essentially exhaust cutouts where you can, depending on which mode you're in, it makes it louder or quieter. I did not get that option because I didn't want it. I had no use for the quieter uh, option. And this car is just a weekend warrior. For me, it's not a daily driver. So I want it loud all the time. If you want to know more about the Axelback systems, uh, check out my video I made because uh, I had some trouble with this exhaust. I won't go into detail about it. I'll link it in the description. But like I said, the system that I got is the uh, American Thunder Axelback system. It's basically, it's just normal Super 44 uh, mufflers with a little bit of pot. Um, but be advised that that system will not work on the cars that do have the MPP from the factory. But you can also still get the American Thunder system, uh, but you have to have a different system. It's got, uh, it has the Super 44s, but it also has a set of uh, outlaw mufflers on the, you know, the, the dual mode portion of the car. And it has dual tips on each muffler. I'll put a link to that system in the description as well in case your car does have the MPP feature from the factory. But anyway, that's um, enough about that. I'm gonna do some, uh, I'm gonna do a cold start right now. And then I'll show you some clips that I've pre-recorded of the car uh, revving, uh, drive-bys inside the car. Try to give you a, a good representation of what it sounds like. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, if you wanna hear what this car sounded like before the Flowmasters with its absolutely stock exhaust without MPP, I made a full video about that a while back. You can check that out in the link up here in the corner. All right, so I got the keys here. I'm gonna do a cold start right now. Uh, and then uh, I'll, I'll show you a clip of revving it that I pre-recorded. I don't wanna rev it right now while it's cold. Get ready. You're about to do the thunder. You better move, big guy. See, I told start. 
it's, it's really deep, uh, and that's what I like. You got that, you know, um, classic uh, deep Flowmaster tone. But you'll see it gets a little raspier in a little bit when the, when the RPMs go up. Uh, the X5 makes it a little, a little more uh, high pitched. But it still sounds pretty good, so stay tuned. Here comes the uh, montage of different clips. Alright guys, so that's what the car sounds like now with the Super 44, Flowmasters, uh, American Thunder, Axomax system. Now I've had the mufflers on there for a while now, so now I'll give you my thoughts based on my experience with them. So there's two primary reasons I wanted Flowmasters on the car. One reason is that I wanted the car to have a unique tone to it uh, besides what comes out on them. Uh, I didn't want it to sound like every other SS scratch off the lot. But the primary reason I, I wanted the Flowmasters is because I, I like a deep rumble rather than a, a higher pitched raspy 
uh, pop. And you know, I've had I've had Flowmasters on a lot of different vehicles and um, with different setups, and they're all they've always been. Uh, you know, low pitched rumbling, and that's just my personal preference. So now, did I achieve that, uh, you know, goal with these mufflers on this car? And I would say, yeah, uh, it, it is pretty deep, um, pretty rumbly, especially at lower RPMs. Obviously, you know, the, when the R RPMs go up, it gets a little more raspy. Uh, I think the X pipe, you know, accounts for that, probably some. But as you can see, I mean, uh, it, it still sounded pretty low, even at the higher RPMs. I may actually uh try to swap out the x pipe for an h pipe um an h pipe usually you know tends to give you a more uh, deeper that classic muscle uh tone uh more so than the you know the x pipe x pipe tends to be higher higher pitched but uh I, I, i'm not sure if i'm gonna do that I, i'm flirting with the idea uh, what do you guys think uh, you think i should do that you think it'd be worth it uh and and what's your preference do you like the do you like the tone of a, an h pipe or an x pipe better let me know in the comments Okay, so I achieved my goal by uh, installing the, the Flowmasters, but you know now I'll, I'll tell you my overall impression of how you know the quality. Um, first of all, does it drone? I know a lot of people are concerned about that. Yeah, it does a little bit. It doesn't uh, drone constantly, but at certain RPMs, it's pretty bad on the freeway, especially. You know, around a steady cruise around 70 uh, miles an hour, it it gets pretty droney in there. Um, and then of course, you know, like pulling, pulling a heel, uh, you get those RPMs just at that, that certain point and it, it, it makes your head feel, you know, kind of, well, you know what a drone is. Um, you know, it's not that bad most of the time, but when you get to that certain point, it's pretty bad. So I am warning you. Hey, if you like this video, then do this. Check out this playlist right up here that I put together of videos I've made similar to this of other Flowmaster and exhaust videos in general. And if you want to tag along while I continue to modify this car and my old truck and go on other adventures, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.